Well, President Trump is holding a news conference and quite interestingly, in the last few moments, he has just said that for the last week and a half, he has been taking the unproven malaria drug hydroxychloroquine. Let's listen to what he's just had to say. But I get a lot of tremendously positive news on the hydroxy and I say, hey, you know the expression I've used, John? What do you have to lose? Okay, what do you have to lose? So to I, take have, medicine? I have been taking it for about a week, a week for about a week and a half. Every day? At some point, every day. I take a pill every day. Uh, at some point, I'll stop. What I'd like to do is I'd like to have the cure and or the vaccine, and that'll happen, I think, very soon. And you've had no symptoms, sir? Zero symptoms. No, I haven't had any symptoms. No, I tested. We, I test every couple of days. They want to test me, you know, for obvious reasons. I mean, I am the president. So they want to test me. I don't want to be tested, but they want to test me. So every couple of days I get tested. And I've been, I've shown always uh, negative, right? Negative. Is that the term you use for this, right? Negative. Totally negative. No symptoms, no nothing. But no, I take it because I think uh, I hear very good things. Again, you have to go to frontline workers. Many frontline workers take it, and uh, they seem to be doing very well. Have any other members of your administration, Vice President Pence or your family no, members? No, I wouldn't be surprised. I, I don't want to ask them because that's a personal decision as to whether or not you want to say. I just want to be open with the American public because, you know, I happen to think it's good. I do want the letter given because this letter made uh, – not in terms of my taking it, but I thought it was a very well-crafted letter by a man who's a respected doctor up in Westchester, maybe a little beyond Westchester, a little up higher, and uh, in New York. And he just, he didn't want anything. He just wanted me to know the results of what he's doing as a doctor. And he was so happy with the fact that I, I fight for this stuff. And then we have this crazy whistleblower, this fake whistleblower get out and try and, you know, knock it. Uh, who was who signed the application? He he did all this. He did the signing. He was a believer, at one point I assume. Otherwise, he shouldn't have signed it.